what's up everybody welcome back to the channel it's your girl colors and i'm back with another video and today's video is going to be all about nala's six month <laughs> baby update i cannot believe this girl is six months well i probably can honestly you know how everybody be like time's going by so fast slow down this and that but Honestly, it feels like six months. <laughs> if anything, it feels like it's, it's actually longer. Um, which is not a bad thing, but it, it just doesn't feel like it's going by too fast. It just feels like it's going by as long as it feels. When I did stay home with her, it did feel like it was going a lot faster. But now that I am back at work, it feels like it is kind of going slower. So, I don't know. But anyway, since I haven't did an update since she was three months old, I think it was overdue to give you guys the official updates on what's going on with her now. So, if you're interested in hearing about all her little updates, just keep on watching. Now, I have written down my list like I usually do. And I'm going to just go through the list in no particular order. So... Nala is six months actually starting tomorrow. I'm filming this on Friday. So hopefully I can get this out today. If I can't, then by the time you see this, she will probably be already six months. So she's somewhere around, I would believe that 18 pound mark. Last time I checked at her doctor's office, she was around 16.12 pounds. That was like last month. So she could be 18, 19 pounds even. Apparently she's pushing more on the boy side of things when it comes to weight, but this girl is solid. Now I hear that when she starts to be a little bit more active, she would shed some weight, but because you know, this girl is like chilling out, cruising, living her best life, you know. Uh, she is rock solid. <laughs> but besides that, she currently wears three to six months and six to nine months. It just all depends. Even some zero to three, because some zero to threes I have are really big. Um, but it's all compared to her thighs, what makes her get into each range. Because if you look at these legs, these legs, child, I don't know, you can't even see them, huh? Chunky legs, chunky legs. That's the first thing everybody who sees her, they be like, she's so, her legs so chunky. I'm like, I know, they heavy too. She officially has two teethuses, I like to call it. She has two tooth right here on the bottom. That started coming in around the end of her four months. She started teething. And I noticed it because she started drooling a lot, started to chew on my finger. She, the biggest one was that she got a fever. She was like 101. And I called the doctor because I was like, she just had a fever like a week ago. That was like 101. And they suggested to give her Tylenol. I believe it was around two. I don't know what's the, but it's a syringe and it was around the two. Uh, mark or whatever so that came with the infant Tylenol so I was giving her that and then her fever broke maybe like a day or two later yeah and then she just started like continue to chew on stuff and then maybe when she hit it was around the middle of July around my birthday I started to see the little white impressions coming through and yeah now they're fully in so that is a big she doesn't like teething toys, which is really odd. I even tried giving her like the ring and putting it in the freezer. Uh, I don't know if it's just that the ring that I got is too big, but uh, she just didn't get it and she never liked it. She likes chewing on small stuffed animals like this. And I also got her this little rattle ring that my job actually got for me. Um, which was really nice of them. So that is her two favorite things to chew on. Oh, and if the stuffed animal has that little like, I don't know what material it is, but if you squeeze the stuffed animal, start crinkling, gives a lot of crinkle noises. She likes those as well. I noticed more um, that she is into laughing more with strangers. Um, for a long time, she would not kind of show any type of interest in kind of laughing, smiling, those type things with 
people that she don't know or I should even say people that wasn't us um, she wasn't interested in the slightest um, but she is doing it more and more now with strangers even though I have noticed that she doesn't talk as much as she used to I don't know if she just gets the quiet features from us believe it or not I was a very very extremely quiet child up until probably almost high school I was really 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 quiet which is probably why I'm not now <laughs> um, but yeah so maybe she gets that from me and David David is kind of introverted sort of so maybe that's just what it is she just don't feel the need to talk or whatnot but at least she she's very friendly though when it comes to uh like being passed off to strangers and stuff like that so the next thing is she do have two favorite shows which is jungle book ironically i have a line in right there um and puss in boots from um shrek i guess that's what that's from maybe that's the tomboy in her i don't know but that's what she likes and i'm cool with it another thing that has happened this is actually happened around her the end of the four month mark uh, she started going to daycare, if you guys don't know that. So she's been in daycare for a little minute now and she is liking it. I have become very okay with the idea of her being in daycare. I have two of the ladies I really do like a lot, so that is really good. Um, the only thing is I really wish she would learn more at this daycare, but it's not a learning center. so. I guess I can't really be mad at that. Oh, one thing, even though she's not acting like it right now, she really does love to be held standing up all the time. And the problem with that is she is heavy. She's 18 solid pounds or maybe 19. She could even be 20 the way that she feels. And she loves so, for someone to like stand her up. But then when you try to stand her up like on your lap or something like that, like I was just doing, she can't even hold her own weight too good so she be buckling and then your arms be hurting child she loves it so i had ended up buying her a exercise saucer to start teaching her to um stand for longer periods at a time to kind of build her late strength up she likes that on um, the very first time i put her in it she could last like 45 minutes in it easily now i can only get 15 20 minutes out of her at a time i mean i guess it helps is better than holding her all day i find myself going through this rotation of now she's in the exercise now she's in the swing now she's in the bouncer now we're doing um playmat time and then i'm holding her and then we're just going through this rotation i'm hoping that it comes soon that she want to do a little holding her weight up but right now we're getting big and strong child because she is heavy <laughs> one thing that is new she is starting to hate getting put in the car seat which is very annoying because she always loved to be in the car seat or she never mind being in the car seat but for whatever reason now if you put her in the car seat and you're not ready to hit the door now she gets aggravated and you have to entertain her until you put her in the car Once she's in the car she's pretty good to go one big change that has happened in this time is that she has shifted in her sleeping i'm not gonna say schedule it's just her rotation she really fighting sleep which is very annoying she tries to stay up as much as possible so instead of before it was easy for her to go to sleep and it was easy for her to kind of soothe herself through noise and stuff like that i definitely find myself tiptoeing a little bit more around her because she definitely doesn't want to go to sleep um her bedtime is a little bit easier but you have to put her to sleep in a specific way now we have taken the, her crib out of her room and putting it into our room if you don't know that's because her room which is this room is um not well ventilated and it's hot air is very stuffy still we did a lot of things to try to get it going but it is not working out and she she and i was getting sick a lot so we decided to take her crib out of her room and put it in our room just because of that i find that okay so for example when she's in her room this is the day bed i would kind of nap her in we would lay here feed her 
and then when she falls asleep i would just put her in the crib i feel like when i do the same thing at our bed now she kind of loves our bed too much so we have a tempur mattress as well as really fluffy pillows so I find that now, if we take her out of the bed and try to put her in the crib, she's like awake. And it takes a lot longer to be able to transition. So in a lot of ways, I feel like we're going backwards in the whole sleep training because she has never had a problem with sleep. Ever since she was three months, she has been able to sleep very well from eight um, p.m. to like six o'clock in the morning. But now, because she'll wake up at like 11 or or two she'll wake at least one or two times every other day maybe when she wakes up around five o'clock in the morning i have to put her in my bed and actually co-sleep why did i didn't actually co-sleep in the beginning and now i'm co-sleeping so if i try to put her in bed in her crib after five o'clock she is not happy and she will not sleep in her crib so in order for me to get a little bit extra time and sleep, I have to put her in our bed and actually sleep with her. Now, this is something I have not been comfortable with and I've vocalized this many times because I am a deep sleeper, but I am less afraid of rolling over her now and things like that because she's a lot bigger than she was before. She was so small in the beginning and I also wasn't used to having a child. I'm a first time mom, you know, those type things. So I was just very uncomfortable with that. Now I'm kind of used to co-sleeping with her in the last like few weeks or so, but it is still something that I hate that is a new rotation. So now that she's gotten used to our covers, I think I have to go get her a fluffy cover now and try to tuck it around her crib so that she would think that she is in my bed. But I'ma still fight the good fight and make sure that she knows that she still needs to sleep in her crib. Another thing that has happened, um, just in case if you don't know, I have said this several times, but we have taken the docket tie out of her crib because she actually started rolling. One day after putting her in um, our room, you know, uh, I noticed I woke up in the middle of the night and she was sleeping on her stomach. And I almost had a panic attack and heart attack. And I picked her up and like was shaking her, not shaking her vigorously, but I was kind of like, you know. And then she slowly like kind of got up and then I was like, oh no, like no. So I took the doctor tie out and then I put her on her side because now like even when she before I officially took her out the docket top she started to roll sideways a lot in the docket top which is was the sign that she is ready to be in a different position so now she loves sleeping on her side I'm totally comfortable with her sleeping on her side I'm not a hundred percent comfortable with her sleeping on her stomach yet because uh, she doesn't know how to roll back and forth yet I have let her try to roll on her stomach on her own but she can't seem to every single time she gets stuck under one arm and then she gets exhausted and then she's doing this again but we are making progress so I am happy about that you spit that's another new thing she is doing if you heard that uh, she is doing this new little bubbles like she likes blowing bubbles with her fit now another reason for her to drool child I don't know that's her thing she like doing that when she gets mad she does it when she wants attention it's kind of cute to be honest though another big thing is that she's officially completely on formula she is not getting mama's milk no more my boobs are mine and her mouth is going to the bottle and that's just the way it is i have been officially not pumping for like two weeks now which feels amazing i do still have milk though even though i haven't been pumping because i squeezed my nipples the other day and there's milk coming out so it has not dried up yet but um i noticed that when she is on formula now that she drinks a lot more she drinks five ounces now <laughs> there we go but i feel like she doesn't remain as full it could be a combination of her age and her being ready to eat food and stuff like that but she definitely drinks a lot more but if you are going through the transition of going to from breastfeeding 
or pumping to formula feeding, I highly suggest to get gas relief drops because when babies start to get formula, they are usually more prone to have constipation and their poop changes and it gets really hard and stuff like that. So having the gas relief drops have definitely helped. Definitely if your baby starting solids too, that is helped with them because they're not used to having to push so hard uh, because their poop is generally liquidy up until this point. The type of formula that she is on is uh, Infamil Gentle Ease. That's the one that we have kept along with and that's what worked the best for us without her spitting up as much. But going to the breastfeeding aspect, I did mention that I stopped breastfeeding um, and pumping. That's because I just was getting irritated by it. It was be becoming a lot of work and I realized that over time I stopped doing it for my own personal reasons and was doing it um, because I felt like I was supposed to or I felt like I kind of was given other people's reasons for a reason why they want to breastfeed and pushing them on myself instead of doing what I wanted to do I guess I didn't realize that um, pumping was something that I didn't want to do until I started to get really irritated with my nipples being touched I really hate my nipples being touched I don't like my nipples sucked on I don't like it I don't, I don't, I don't, just none of it. So over time when I was pumping, I found myself pushing off time for pumping just because I didn't want my nipples being grabbed at basically. So I knew it was time to stop. So I stopped. Um, I still got some milk in there. So I might even be doing a video of me trying it since they're a little bit in there, but uh, they haven't dried up yet. I can still kind of feel them in there, but they don't hurt and it doesn't bother me. But yeah, that is the reason why I stopped breastfeeding. She is definitely starting to show interest in food, but she doesn't understand the process of how to eat it. She is just licking it. I tried to give her the tiniest piece of macaroni and cheese. Uh, she didn't get it. Um, even when I give her like bananas and stuff like that the pureed one stage one she just licks it but she doesn't like try to take it in i'm gonna start trying to put a little bit more on her tongue so she try to take it back and she understands that she needs to actually swallow but she hasn't understand that process yet and i really want to start giving her um, baby food because i don't want to keep working so hard with the breast milk and feeding her so much of that because she is not getting full but when i'm eating something she is now definitely trying to grab it put it in her mouth uh recently i was drinking a soda and she tried to grab the soda out my hand and she actually grabbed the straw put it into her mouth kind of slurped it up and then kind of started herself because she was watching me do it but i didn't know whether it'd be mad or proud because i was like oh she sucked out a straw and she did so good when she did it and then she felt happy about it because i was like yay yay you did it yeah you did you can't tell me that you didn't because you did can't tell me because you did because you did yeah you did yeah you did um so she sucked out the straw and then in my last video david was eating a burger and she was trying to take that out of his head so it's definitely time for food child just need her to understand the process i am ready to unpack this high chair lord jesus i've been waiting long enough and i want her to sit in it child yes another thing is is that she hates her hair being done i know you see these little cute little bows in here but it was hell and hot water to put these bows in like she don't even like me like rubbing on her hair uh tampering with her hair now she's really starting to hate baths and stuff like that and when i try to wash her hair she doesn't like it at all i find myself needing to get in the tub with her and she will scream bloody murder you would think i would be killing her from the way she's screaming when i even touch her edges i was trying to do her edges earlier child and she wasn't with it but she's just gonna have to get used to it child because i am trying to get rid of this dry patch back here that she got from laying on the docker tot 
and if you look at the docker top that material that the babies lay on is so rough like that material i don't even know what type of material the covers are but it's so rough and she had got a dry patch because uh, she was laying down so much and rubbing and turning and all kind of stuff so i am trying to fix this dry patch that is definitely a different texture than the rest of her hair. I guess that's just a kid thing. Um, one of the things that I do, I get this question a lot, what I do put in her hair is when I am washing it, I do have a video of her nighttime routine and what I do with that. So go watch that video if you're interested in how I wash your hair. But what I, in her hair for dry days that I'm not washing hair is Cantu jojoba oil and tea tree oil. It is in one bottle, it's white, it's a really thick cream. Her hair gets really dry just like mine, so I have to use that. I really like it because it keeps her hair shiny all day and moisturized. All right, so more on to the things that I really don't want to talk about because you know, everybody be judgmental about what your baby should be doing, shouldn't be doing, sh you know, all this type of stuff. Stuff that I know that she should probably be doing, but she's not doing. But I'm gonna get out my feelings, I'm be honest. Some of the things she's not doing is things like she's not holding her bottle. She is not interested in holding a bottle. She will grab the bottle like she's about to hold it, put it up to her mouth, and then she'll immediately drop it. Like she would go like this, she would grab at it, put it to her mouth, and then let go she's like i did that part i have spent so many times feeding her holding her hands like this up to her mouth with the bottle and just holding it the entire time and the most i'm able to get out of her is actually reaching for it when she wants it but uh she won't hold it up i have heard of this pillow thing that you could buy to actually train babies to hold bottles uh, I think it's called Willow Pillow or something like that. I don't know, but I guess you can look on um, Amazon for like bottle training pillow or something like that. And basically it's like a little fluffy pillow that you attach to the neck and it has a strap that you um, attach the bottle to and it kind of like just holds it at their mouth. So they just kind of start to learn to just hold it there or grab it. And those type things so i don't know i've been debating if i want to buy it i just don't want to waste my money even though it's only like 25 dollars or something like that but i just feel like no one i never heard of nobody really using this before so why should i have to use it many people's babies just getting it i don't know i might get it who knows but she ain't doing it another thing she's not doing is sitting up she is definitely not sitting up yet. She will try to grab her feet a lot, and I think that's what she associates sitting her feet. I mean, try to sit up with. She doesn't try to carry her weight or anything like that. I try to train her to do it, but she, she doesn't like to. She was scooting down every time I would put her uh, on her butt. She like scooches and purposely don't want to sit on her butt. I also bought a bimbo seat to try to help teach her to carry her weight and sit up but i don't know if it's because she don't like it because her thighs are really thick and her thighs always get stuck in the inside when i try to take her out but she doesn't care for the bimbo seat she does like to use a stroller though i recently started using her stroller like for walks and stuff like that without the car seat and she does like that like she hasn't had a problem with that she actually kind of want to sit up in that so maybe when i unpack her high chair she might be more interested and the last thing that i can tell you is an update on is that she still does not like tummy time this girl Maybe one of those situations that she might walk before she crawl. I have actually a good amount of people in my family that the babies actually never really crawls and just walks. Uh, so when I put her on her stomach, um, she definitely does hold her head up now. She does know how to do that. So thank God that we're out of that stage. But so she, when I put her on her stomach, she does push herself up and kind of looks around and stuff like that. And she tried to jerk. It, she does like the swimming motion um, but 
she just gets exhausted and just gets upset. We could probably get 10 minutes maybe. That's about it. But I think that's going to be all for this baby girl's update. She is getting a little hungry so it's time to feed her and it is hecka hot in here with all these lights. But I definitely wanted to make sure I come back to you guys and tell you guys what's been going on. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I tried my best to write everything down that was I guess important or just happened recently but I do believe within the next two months there will be definitely big changes and I can't wait for them but yeah I guess it's gonna be it for you guys I definitely love you guys and we will see you in the next one Game coming right to you,